Hello and good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Spilled Juice Magical Playthrough. I hope you are all well this Thursday. We're down here near the Thomcraft area. I haven't done anything down here. Just thought I'd start down here so we can talk about what we need to do in our little grind stream today. Um, I'm trying to focus the grinds on, you know, little projects, little things that get done so that when we stream for the longer time on the weekends, the little things help us. <laughs> you know, that makes any sense. But, um, so yeah, two things. We need to finish relocating all of the ember stuff that we started on Tuesday. So we need to go get the ember boar that is over near spawn over there. And we need to move it to our area where the embers is now. And we need to do a little bit of like mini farming for if we're going to progress further in Thaumcraft. It's going to require us to do a lot of theory crafting in order to learn stuff. And that's going to require paper and ink. And so for ink, we can definitely do Batania floral powder. So I will need to make sure I have a black flower and we can set up a little mini farm for that. Um, we're going to need bone meal and I don't think I have found a skeleton spawner. So we're just going on the bone meal that we get, you know, organically when skeletons spawn. And then for paper, we're going to need a sugarcane farm because this is it. This is what we've got for sugarcane. So I'm going to need to make a little sugarcane farm and I could decide to do it magically later, but we'll probably, if we have time, just set up a simple observer piston sugarcane farm sort of deal with um, one of the uh, vacuum hoppers from Embers picking stuff up. So that's the plan. That is the goal. Um, hmm. These block miners might make it easier. Instead of the observer and piston. So there's that. <laughs> I have the bees running again. We might get lucky and keep this. Uh, it went industrious. We might get lucky and get an industrious princess. Um, we did get an Imperial. I'm hoping it stays Imperial this time. So we're getting closer and closer to being able to really dig into bees and get them going so that you can see the different mutation processes and the alfieries and we can, you know, work on magical bee mining for us. But anyway, we're going to head to spawn. We're going to grab the Ember Boar and the stuff that is there so that we can relocate that first and get that taken care of. Um, I do want to continue progressing through Ember's stuff because I, I'm not familiar with anything beyond, you know, what we've got currently, really. So I definitely want to see everything that Ember's 2 has available to learn. And I know they have some nice tools and I think they have uh, armor sets that we can explore, too. So that will be nice. So let's head to spawn. Remember, this is where we started out. And all right, so that's where we started. So over here is the Ember Boar. Um, the reason I put it over here is with Embers. If you've never played with Embers before, you get an atmospheric gauge that shows you the amount of Ember in a chunk. And we wandered around a little bit and found that the, the chunk here um, that this one resides in is a really good chunk for ember, but it's too far away from, from me for wanting to um, chunk load it. And I would rather have it nearby. And since we're not going to be using ember for a ton of things, it's not going to be like a consistent need for ember energy. Um, I don't mind having it in a chunk that has a lower amount of ember. Now where we're going to put it, I have no idea how much ember it's got. We need to grab the atmospheric gauge and just see. 
But we're going to take all this down. Here's everything that it collected for the amount of um, coal or charcoal or whatever it is that I put in there. And so yeah, I wonder if I can put ember grit in it in order to get those. We'll have to try. We'll have to see. So we'll just pick it all up. So we've got the ember bore, the hopper, the extractor, some pipes, the lever, the mechanical core, the chest, and those items. I think that's it. So let's go back to the home. It's nighttime. Let's sleep. All right. The reason we came back here first is because I think my atmospheric gauge is still here. In one of these chests. Yep. Got a bunch of stuff in here that we will want to relocate. I have a chest on me, so I could at least grab these things. What's up here? Um, we'll come back for that stuff, really. And then we'll go to uh, Town Hall. Go down here. So. There's a cow down here. So remember, this is what we set up on Tuesday. All right, and we need to get Ember being generated for us and so I went over here a little further and dug a little way down um, I tried to do a water drop but apparently I didn't do it correctly I died so when I fell down there to test it so <laughs> I don't know it might need more than one uh, bucket of water to stop my fall or I hit the sign I'm not sure my my um grave was up here above the water so i may have hit the sign i don't know anyway let's turn on the chunk boundaries you can see this is the very corner of a chunk i decided to do it here um so that i can access four chunks here if one doesn't do very well we can move around to the other four hi mike i did that re redownload and i didn't check but, yep, we have random things now. We have random things! So we'll be able to look through this stuff. There's lots of awesome things to do here. And, ooh, pretty colored blocks. I can have no idea all of the stuff in random things, but it's got cool stuff. So, yes. Very, very excited to explore these, like, the blue network sounds fun and magical fun and magical to have a flu network in in places that would be really cool so yep we're gonna try this chunk let's look at our gauge um let's break out all right so now we're exposing four chunks right here okay so here is our gauge for this chunk it's over half which is awesome if we go into this chunk, to watch it a little bit, looks like it stays right about the same. Hmm. Do we need to move further into the chunk than this? I would think that it would... It's not moving at all. I hear an enderman. Well, we'll just go with that then. Sure. <laughs> Let's put our ember bore down. And we'll get it set up. 
mechanical core on top so we have more than one accessory spot. We'll have input here, output here. Um, I don't think I need a pipe if I remember correctly. So we'll just put that on there and a radiant chest it connects. Okay, we're gonna that. Let's see if this actually works as fuel. It does. Well, heck. That's awesome. So this will get us more ember. And ultimately I'm going to want an ender chest here. So that we can chuck fuel into it. And I want to be able to access... Um, this will probably have another ender chest here. But for now, we're all set up. Oh. Maybe we do need, because it's saying it has nowhere to put that. Um. Maybe we do need a pipe. I think it's working now because that says 86 and it said 85 before. Yep, 87. It's working now. Okay. Great. It's running. And that's all we needed to do. Alright, so we'll check that off of our list. We relocated that. As I said, we're going to need to look into ender chests or some kind of item transfer from the output to our storage system or at least to where we're making ember power and we're also going to be able to add fuel to the ember bore when we need it um and the easiest way to do that in modded is ender chests the challenge with ender chests <clears throat> is this <laughs> we might not even have the ender pearls but it's the blaze rods that have me the most hesitant it means going back to the nether and I've only been there the once yeah it wasn't pleasant <laughs> not pleasant Let's head back in here. We're gonna drop off a few of these things that don't need to be down in the embers. Duh. And let's see if this works. We're gonna try to throw the stuff in there. Um don't need those anymore. We don't need the signs. We're gonna hang on to the gauge. We're just gonna put it in our backpack. And I wonder if it ended the ores ended up in the right spot. It does not look like they ended up back in here, so that's that's a bonus. Hopefully they ended up in these spots. Not enough roofs, copper ore. Interesting. Yay! All right. Do we go to the end, to the nether? Try to get some blaze rods. Um, this 
This is my, I have one. I have three ender pearls, so we could make a pair of chests. That manifest, I, like I said, I don't think the chest is close enough. Yeah, it's not. Not that we can pull stuff out of this thing, it just tells us where things are. I don't think we can pull stuff out anyway, because it's just tracking. Hm. It's still cool. I don't know what these blank one is. Um, default radiant chest to no new items. Nope. Server settings. Huh. I don't know what manifest. Oh, what? Actually, here we could change the max distance. We might need to, um, reset the pack for that to actually work but um hey <laughs> cool all right sugarcane that's our next task i'm not gonna go to the end to the nether right now but we need to do a sugarcane farm if we can do the cyclic block breaker instead of an observer and a piston that'll be cheaper for us and then we just need to make an ember item vacuum and a chest and then we'll be able to set up a sugarcane farm it does not need to be a giant farm we just need something to be able to develop to create paper for our theory crafting for thumbcraft so let's take a look at um the block breaker from cyclic is it the miner hey there's one from open blocks i don't know how one from random things is there info this one requires a pick and a redstone torch block breaker breaks blocks in front of it and puts the drops in inventories behind it it can be controlled Ooh, this one would save us needing an item vacuum Let's do this one, since it's a new mod for the pack. Redstone store, torch, iron pick, and some cobblestone. All right, iron. Three of you, we need a piece of redstone. I have a stick and we need some cobble. All right. Breaker for random things, a chest, we need some sand. I'm doing one right now, but I'm trying to decide. I think six sugar cane ought to be a decent number. I just want to see how the this works before I make more than one. And sugar cane we have over at the home place where we're gonna be setting it up for now. We need to sleep. Oh, okay. I think that's one of the first times I've seen me lay down. All right. So. It. And we're just gonna do this uh, for now. And 
and that's where our sugar cane will go. The lock breaker will go here. All right. It is controlled by redstone, it said, and it will output to inventories behind it. All right. So, if it grows, it broke it and it's in there. Fantastic. Woo! So we need to make two more of these and that and um chests for the back here and we'll be good to go. All right, that makes me happy. Simple little farm just to get us enough paper to do our theory crafting as we need it. Yep. Cuz you get three paper with three sugar cane, don't you? Yeah, totally. Oh, hey, look at that. Didn't know that. We can o we already do wild root. Anyway, sugar cane it is. We're doing more sugar. We're doing sugar cane. <laughs> so, let's go make two more of these. And that's going to require two more picks. And two more torches. And more cobble. Okay. all I have is great wood on me. I thought I thought I had those are chiseled. Are we going to be able to put um, these next to each other? Probably not. Do I have any excess regular oak chests we might be able to? Extra chests. Any extra chests? Yes. We might be able to alternate them. Um, Alright, let's go back to the home place. Which we need to rename that. I need to learn how to unset that home so I can change the name because this needs to be the Roots Academy, which probably would just be RA most likely. And then you and you. Sweet. I don't need to speed it up or anything. And off it'll go. And we'll slowly over time get sugar cane while we're here in this area. The bees are done, so we should probably check on them. Um, these were just creating a stack, which we now have of the Majestic, so we're gonna put her away. And this is an extra one. We're gonna get rid of it. So we're done with that one. Not done. Ooh, they don't stack yet. So we haven't gotten a pure one. 
but we're getting there. It stayed Imperial, so that's fantastic. Yeah, see, we're, we've got some conflict of gene traits. I really would like to go for shortest. That means it, it runs faster for less amount of time, so they're cycling over pretty quickly. Um, nothing else is different about it, but we, we do have... We need, I want to try to get shortest. So I need to find one of these drones that has that. That one looks just like the princess. That one does too. Hmm. That one I don't want because inactive is a slower production. Um, that one's slower too. So we have a choice of these two. Oh, fast worker flowers, short life. Um, why don't you stack though? What's different about you? Well, I'm going to say one of these two is fine. Uh, these two are no's. So we're going to put her in there and you. And hope that we get one that stacks. Okay. We can get rid of this one. This is the one produced last time that if it didn't keep Imperial. I was going to try to reforce it to be Imperial, but it stayed! This one is still not industrious. It's still just diligent, diligent. Hmm. I wonder if I need to mix it with the other drone again. Industrious is unweary and diligent. Because this is It's not hanging on to this industrious trait. It's not easy to get it to do that. The, the mutation chance is really low, especially without any special frames. So, I mean, I could be doing this better. Look at that, we have our first royal jelly. That is what we were going for, for produce um, products so that we can make alvearies. So, yay for royal jelly. This one needs to make um, it needs to make pollen clusters, doesn't it? So that we can make scented paneling. That's what we're working towards, a scented paneling. So yeah. Yoop, 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 yoop. Do I have anything to burn? Let's burn you. Very, very little mana. We haven't really gotten into Batania in this one yet. We will. All right, so let me check off Sugarcane Farm. The other thing, next thing we need to do is um, secure our ink source, which we're going to do um, Batania. We're gonna use their the black flower floral powder. So we need to go make sure we have a black flower and if not go hunt one down. So let's go the Batania stuff. Oh you know what the Batania stuff might still be in the Roots Academy. So let's see. 
is uh, that is wizardry. Yep. All right. We have a black one, so let's take that out. Oh, we have a black petal. We only need the one petal to get started. So, petal. And then we need bone meal. We're going to need the mortar and pestle, which we'll make another one eventually. And then we need shears. There's one floral black powder. That'll help too. Uh, do I have shears on me? I have runic shears. And let's go get some bone meal. Bone meal is in wherever I've got mob drops. This one. Seventy six bones. It's not a lot, but again, we don't need a ton. We have three spider eyes. Do we have any ink sacs in here? Well, I think we can use wither ash as black powder as well as for ink. I don't remember if it has any other uses, so that might be something that we can um, utilize instead of wasting wither ash. And it is in place is similar to redstone. Mobs are prevented from spawning on it as well as blocks above it. Okay. Gotcha. Um, we'll use you for ink too. All right. We need to sleep again. We're gonna set this up over at the uh, area where we're currently doing thumb craft research so that it's accessible to us when our scribing tools run out of ink. And the way that we do this, let's put it, we put it next to the sugar cane. Why, oh, thank you. Um, I don't see why not. It'll get picked up by that. You plant a flower petal. You can see it kind of sparkles. And it says it's buried, which you can't see. There we go. Bone meal it and you get a too tall one. You can't harvest this by by just breaking it. You'll lose it if you do that. You need to use shears. So we use shears on it. We get a tall one. The tall one produces four petals. So then you just can do it again. And you get that. So we're going to do that for now. And in order to get the black floral powder, you just use your pestle and mortar on the petals and you get the powder. So there's where we're going to get what we need for um, ink. We're just going to put that stuff here. Strawberry seeds. And we're all set. That feels good too. So we can actually do a bit of research. Um, We were still trying to unlock Golemancy so we could do some farm automation sort of things. Oromancy is at 13%. Alchemy is at 9%. Fundamentals are still at 25. Um, that's probably because these are all the fundamentals. We can complete this. We observation arcane if you didn't. Um, Thus far, I've been applying V to objects as a matter of course. It is simple enchanting, much like is possible using an everyday enchanting table. I believe more is possible, however, by infusing objects with Essentia, I should be able to artificially force them to take on properties and aspects of other objects, or even abstract concepts. Anyone can enchant an object with magic that lifts it into the air, but infusion should be able to imbue the object with lightness itself, making it part of essential nature. Hmm. Great. 
So we can now make thaumaturge robes, which is the first tier of thaumcraft clothing. That'd be nice. My experiments have been successful. I've been able to infuse simple objects with Essentia, but the process is complex, difficult, and dangerous. I need to find a way to simplify it before I can truly delve into all the possibilities it holds. The experiments did have some practical results as well. I've also discovered a fabric that is soft, supple, and easy to enchant. I've designed patterns for a set of clothing made from this fabric. It will not only be comfortable and stylish while worn, it will reduce the V-cost of certain types of thaumaturgical tasks. The clothing should also be easily dyeable, much like leather armor. All in all, I am quite pleased with what I've done here. So we can make these, and when we wear it, when we're doing um, things with the crucible, and I'm not sure what other things, but I know for the crucible for sure that uh, the V-costs are cheaper. I think with Arcane Crafting too, the V-cost is cheaper when you're wearing robes. Um, yeah, so... We could try a theory. Let's give it a shot. Um, so we have choices. White wool, file of humanis. I don't think we can get files. I don't think we can put Essentia in files yet. Um, we need to be able to make the, um, the process that turns the Essentia into a liquid. Right now, all we can do is turn it into those crystals. So we can't do this one. So this is the only one we can do. You notice that a lot of the tinkering you are doing is inspired by your experience in life. Gain 25 in Thaumic Tinkerer at the cost of four levels of experience. I must have four levels of experience or I don't think that would work. Um, that would be more four levels of experience again. You perform some random experiments to see if something can be discovered. Gain 15 to 30 progress in completely random category. Let's do that one because I don't think I have enough experience levels. Ooh, the Celestial Studies. We still have a few to learn. Um, we have to do it at nighttime, the Southern Quadrant. I think we did during the day? I have to look. And then Lunar Waxing Crescent. Let's take a look at what we got. I have the Southern Quadrant. Is this what they need? The Waxing Crescent? Lunar Waxing Crescent. Stellar. That one. Yay! Okay. You take some of the celestial notes you have made and compare them for possible correlation with your primary research category. You gain 25 to 50 towards Thomic Tinkerer. I don't think we have this one. The third quarter. So we can't do that one until we get that one. Or we can do, inspired by the progress you've made so far, your mind explores past you've not considered and you gain 39 Thalmic Tinkerer. You come to the realization that Eldritch is not vital to your current research. You will not gain any more progress in Eldritch or draw any cards related to that category. But your current progress will remain. Yeah, Eldritch is not something we're interested in right now. And it won't cost us any... Um, I can't remember what these are called. To do this one. Okay. Carefully consider all you've gained, learned so far. Gain 25 progress divided evenly. Or, in a moment of revelation, your total progress is split evenly amongst all currently revealed and valid categories, and an additional category will gain the full bonus upon completion. That one. Ugh, we're only halfway there with only three of these left. Ugh. Um, we're not focusing on Oromancy with either of these, so I don't want to do this one. It'll have to be this one. Oh, we don't have... We don't have four levels. Um... Do we have four levels stored? If not, we'll have to do the other one. I don't think I have any XP stored. Um. Is 
We have 25. Let's take them all with us. We might need them. We're doing this one. Um, we don't have both of those. Um, we'll do that in Universal Theory. Ugh, we're not going to make it to 100% on any of those. I need... Either, we don't need alchemy either. Or romancy alchemy. We don't need either of these. <laughs> not what we're working on, but whatever. We've gained a little bit of something. <laughs> We gained a little bit of something. Um, we're at 28% for fundamentals. Alchemical metallurgy. We need to research before we can unlock this one. And alchemical metallurgy is in this one. We need to make alchemical brass, which is instrumentum, five instrumentum, and an iron ingot. At least I think that was instrumentum. The names have all been changed. Yeah. Which is a compound aspect, as we knew. It's potentia and metallum. Um, this, of course, will likely get us um, any kind of metal will be metallum. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay. I'm a little perplexed because it's saying, is it saying we can't do the ore? We have to do the cluster? We could always do an axe or a pickaxe if the metals aren't going to count. The ingots themselves. They aren't showing up here, are they? Other than bronze. Hmm. Very interesting. So I think we're going to have to do, I think I have some bronze, because it's showing bronze. This is what we're going to make, so we can do bronze. I've got some forestry bronze. That'll give me five. Hello. Where do I have the forestry bronze? That's the question. We want to keep chugging along with trying to get that. You wait till Saturday. What else is on my list? I don't have a whole lot left on my list, guys, for today. I have ender chests written down with a big giant question mark because I really don't know. We've been here for a little while. Do we have any sugar cane? We do. Sweet. It's night time, but are the bees done? 
this one is. We can rotate you so that during the day it goes. And we're done with most of those. You know what? We haven't been we haven't been doing our magic. Let's set you guys on fire. There's a wisp over there. They dropped a bunch of cool stuff. All right. Ooh, it's one we don't know. That's nice. I also have a zombie brain, which is part of Thalmcraft. This is part of Reliquary that we need to get into yet. Still haven't really done everything that Roots offers. We haven't got any ritual set up, which would be awesome to do. I'll need to see if there's any that would be useful for us at this point in the game. I'm here because I want to put the magic spell book in here. Novice, advanced, apprentice. We're still a novice, but we have a spell on our so on our in our wand that we don't know what it is. I did get a scroll of identification. I have to remember how to use it. I got it from. I think I got it from a mob. And these are individual spells. So yeah. We'll have to see what cool, more, more magic -y stuff we can do with that. What's left in here? Randomness? For the most part? Okay. Well, I think I'm going to go for today. I do have a really long to-do list. And I should probably get started on it. Um, anyway, I will be streaming again Saturday morning. I'm going to shoot for three hours. I've been doing two because I've been needing to, you know, practice talking for that long. So let's try three. I want to ultimately get to four and we'll be back doing this pack, diving into some more thumb craft, probably going to the nether for, um, blaze rods. So I will see you back then. If you want to join me in uh, playing some Minecraft, the Simpletons SMP Year 2 mod pack will be available for patrons to join our server on Friday. All you need to do is subscribe to me at the $5 tier and I will get you access to the server. Patrons and Simpletons are all playing together on one server. There's some uh, special information and whatnot on 99 blocks channel on YouTube and there is link to the discord in my information box down there If you are interested in playing with me, I will be on that server weekly and we can hang out or you can build your own thing Your choice, but yeah, if you're interested you need to be a twitch subscriber of me for the $5 tier or any of the other simpletons and I will see you back here on Saturday. Take care folks. Bye.